Hi everybody, this is Pat at Pat Coon on YouTube and I just wanted to do a video. Um, I'll show you some stuff i just gotten and um, and some work that, things I'm working on and uh, chit chat a little. Um, this journey I've been on um, with uh, getting knee surgery that I'm going to have the 26th of this month. And, uh, uh, but uh, I want to show you. Um, I've recently, everybody's showing these Arteza uh, things. And um, I saw uh, Liz at Mrs. Cog's uh, had, did a thing the one day about these fine liner pens. So I ordered a set. I wanted to get the black ones too, but they were out of stock. So I guess I'll have to get them another time. But um, these, this set is, um, it's 48, 48 pens. And they're, they're such, they're a fine, like it says, it's a fine liner. And um, of course I don't have anything. But, I mean, it's like, and, of course, I picked a really light color. This is peach. This is a peach color. They don't have names. They just have numbers. So, let me, let me pick a purple one. Oh, that's blue. Here's purple. But, these are, I mean, look at that. Isn't that great? These are fantastic. I love them. And really great. Be great for journaling and that. And uh, drawing things. And I'm trying. That's one of the things I'm trying to do is journal about this. What I'm doing. Anyway. Whoops, nope, that's not going to work. My magnet, <laughs> my magnet for my Misty. Um, okay, uh, this week I saw um, Vicky Pompineau. I hope I'm not saying her last name wrong. That's what it looks like to me. Uh, did a journal page on the flowers that she does one every month for the flower that... Um, uh, Yeah, Altenew, Altenew's flowers, and she showed, she used the paints, the, this is the Arteza, it's 60, it's a set of 60 acrylic colors, and these are, this is all the colors, the package is gorgeous, and then they're in all these trays, according to the color family, and, um, in these little uh, tubes and uh, so she was doing gel printing which is something I've been wanting to do my son got me some some things for Christmas so I got the paints and then this is the flower it's it's the um, poppy uh, build a flower and it comes it's a set it comes with the dye for the uh, flowers and it comes with the layering guide on you know how to layer them and I always mess them up I try to do them <laughs> but it doesn't work so I did my interpretation of her journal page I changed she used the the gel print the the gel um plate to do the background so um I tried to this, this was the first time I did the the gel plate and this was my background this is another piece put on the black which is just on the black piece it's um 
just to frame paint it around it and um and then some of this copper this this color is so gorgeous this copper paint and then dry brush it around the outside of the frame on the black to pick up because that's what I used one color and I, I, I was really pleased with it being my first time I <laughs> thought it you know came out pretty good and I put a picture on Instagram of just the background piece and then I did one of the finished um, so this was on the um, a while ago I had gotten the punch to make for the journal pages and uh, put these rings on it so um, and I just I did it's on um, Ranger mixed media paper both parts of it the the background piece and the um, and the actual where I did the flowers but I fussy cut the flowers um, she showed and I, I did the same thing use the um, the gel plate put the red it's a brilliant red I think is what the name of it is uh, on a, uh, you know put it on the plate and then put it on the paper make a uh, lift a print of that and then stamp the flower using using the stamp set the uh, the frame the outline flower stamp that right on the uh, the gel print and then I put it on my misty for uh, for a color I used an old to new uh, red and then it was the same thing with the, the stem and the leaves to uh, make a green and then mix it with brown to make it look a little darker um, and just stamp those. This I just cut, cut a strip from the paper that I did, and um, and then I just put a Tim Holtz uh, phrase on there in the garden, and uh, inked that up a little bit. So that was what I did with my new paints, and I was excited. I I thought it was really cool how it came out. So, um, so then yesterday I saw, I was, I was trying to do some organization down here in my craft room and, um, I saw that, um, Michael's had these, uh, the washi tape box was, um, three drawer it's the three drawer one that um it was half price so i i paid for i ordered it online you pay for it and then i just had to pick it up because today i had to go i've been having to go to you know, so much prep for this surgery um and it's really been quite a journey um but Today I had to go to cardiac, uh, to the cardiac uh, center, to get okay from them for the surgery. And in 2014 I had had a stroke, so um, they said that was actually the uh, that was the only of the five points of risk that I had. So it made me a low risk. And um, of there being a problem so in essence that was the last leg and so I'm okay for the surgery um, I've had a couple weeks ago Memorial Friday or Memorial Day weekend I had dental surgery getting ready for this and um, I've had um, I just feel like all I've been doing is going to doctors and changing medication and trying to lose weight. They wanted me to lose at least uh, 15 pounds before the surgery. 
And as of today, when I went to this doctor and they weighed me, I had lost the 15 pounds that they wanted me to lose. So I was thrilled about that. And uh, I had to go, the beginning, I had to go to a thing called surgery enhancement. And she's kind of the one that laid out everything. And I've been to a nutritionist. <laughs> it's just been been a whole. And so the last step now is the surgery on the 26th. And uh, I mean, I had to watch a video. I had to have a CAT scan. I had, you know, it's just been all kinds of things. So that's where I stand on that. So anyway, I was in the area of Michael's. So I figured I'd be able to pick this up. So this is really cool. It was half price. They're usually $30, so it was $15. And I picked it up so I didn't have to pay shipping. And um, so I'm excited. I have right now I have my washi in this big baking jar. And I want that jar for something else. So I thought this would be perfect to put to put everything in. So the other thing that I got today, well, one, one of the other things, I also got some more of my tea, my willow bark, because I figure I've been drinking that because of the pain. And uh, chronic pain is not fun. And all my friends out there that I know are suffering with that. For one reason or another, uh, I I salute you because I've been really having a hard time with it myself. And um, try to cover that glare. That's my light, but if I put the light, see, it doesn't work right. Anyway, so um, I did get a new pack of my willow bark tea, and. Uh, I try to use that instead of taking, because really Tylenol doesn't work too well with, for me, but with, I take uh, Warfarin, and you're not supposed to take a leave, but a leave's the only thing that works for me when I get a migraine or something. So, I've been trying to do the tea instead. So, I have more of that now. And so, I ordered from... I was looking a couple months ago in the um, house mouse. Deb Hook had used, had made a card using this stamp. And I love cross stitch. And um, it's something that I haven't done it for a while because my eyes have gotten too bad. I need one of those magnifying lights. You know, it has the magnifier and the light. That's what I need. To go back to cross stitching because I have a whole set of uh, it's a series a lighthouse series I have a whole set of cross stitches um, to do and I would like to do that but anyway I saw the card she did and I commented on it and um, the other day I don't know what made me look for it but I found it on scrapbook.com so I can't wait to do a card this came today so I can't wait to do that. They're cross stitching. It has their little scissors and the little floss skeins. And it's a heart. And so then I looked to see what other and I, I was looking like for teacups and that. And then I found this one where they're holding the chocolate chip cookie. Eating that sitting in front of the teacup. And that's Mud Pie and Muzzy. And this is Muzzy, Monica, and Amanda that are doing that. And then when I was looking at the teacups, my other fascination is hedgies. I love hedgehogs. I think they're cool. <laughs> and I found this one, this little hedgehog peeking out of a teacup. And the name of it is Tea Time. I'm sorry, the name of this... Cling cookie crumbles. Cookie crumbles. It's a cling stamp. And this one is called Cross Stitch Heart. Obviously. So 
so and this is called tea time and then I ordered one of these to get some of the script which I had done on this uh, this background and when I went looking for a stamp I said to my daughter the other day don't we have a stamp with script and she pulled one out of the drawer and it was this one and I had already ordered it I said to her I think that's the stamp I just ordered from scrapbook.com. So now we'll each have one that she can keep it over in her drawer. And so then I'll have one. So that's what I got from scrapbook.com. So the only other thing I've been working on is the latest um, Genevieve Designs. Um, this is using the glassine bag. Uh, template set and um, we've been working on this for a couple of weeks now and uh, so this is what I have done so far made the little glassine bag and put a tag in there using um, the the journaling cards the three by five journaling card and some of this is also a piece off of one of the off of a card like this because see there it says flower lover but I cut one up and took that off and then some of the flowers in the collection and um, uh, we did something different this time um, I, think I, sh I think I showed this when I got it But um, I had gotten this die set. It's called Crochet, the Tim Holtz Sizzix die. And you get four, the four, what it is is two different designs and each are two different sizes. So you have this in the large and the small and this in the large and the small. So we use that to put under it's layered under this part here with um, so what what she did was um, use uh, she had craft plastic and uh, so somebody had made a hint on her uh, Facebook page saying that you could take and just run a sheet through the laminator run a laminating sheet through and that's what I did. I cut it out to the size of the um, of the cover page, and uh, ran that little page, little bit through the laminator, so it made fairly heavy. And then glued the um, corner metal corner piece there on that corner. It kind of weighs it down to stay close, and it's on both sides. And then we did the same thing with the um, the crochet. Now look at that, that's bending. And, and layered it on the inside. So here's the first page. And this, this is a half page. And uh, we have a tag on here with a pocket and it's magnetic. So you could put, you know, put a tag or, uh, you know, anything in. So this was the pattern paper that comes in the, in the um, templates. And then this was cut from one of the, it was matted with a three by five journaling card. And then it just sticks on there. And then this is a pocket with um, um, these were made it's it's just a package of white photo corners and then you spray them with we sprayed them with um, the uh, 
the Distress Oxide Inks uh, sprays. And uh, it turns it, it, it almost looks like metal. So they're corners, photo corners. And here's a couple of tags for this pocket with the, with the photo. You could put a photo in there. And then a big tag, this page has a big tag with an insert in that. And the paper that we're using is Prima um, Midnight Garden. That's the paper we're using for this. I don't know if I had showed that when I, when I had gotten the paper. That's what this, it's Midnight Garden. And uh, it's really, really pretty paper. So, um, and then this page, this is a flip down and it's magnetic. And you see it's, that's matted there with the paper. And then this belly band, um, we used, um, uh, it's, uh, it's matted with this paper, piece of this paper. But then these uh, come in the flowers and uh, these vellum pieces in the vellum pack, I mean, in the flower packages. So we cut that out and put that, matted that again, and then attached the key to it. And then the belly bands hold in a couple of uh, tags. And then this has a tag made with the journaling cards or mat it with the journaling cards. And then here we have another uh, insert. And then this one, I still have to work on this, doing these um, wax seals, but that's to hide a magnet. There's a magnet and there's a pocket in here with an insert. And then on this side, is another pocket and this insert we made a little a little journal with uh, I used some tea dyed ledger paper and uh, which I've just started to do tea dyeing actually my daughter helps me I do the ironing <laughs> till my knee is better there's a little half pocket there. And then here's another page. And these all have inserts, uh, side inserts. And uh, these are more of the little bags, little glassine bags. And there's tags into everything. And that's, that's all the pages. So we have, it's like five or six pages it ends up being. So we're not done. We still have to go back and do some more tags and stuff that are missing. And, um, oh, I didn't show you. I showed you the front cover, but I didn't show you the back cover. So there's the back cover. This was one, actually, this was one sheet of paper across the bottom. And put the, the mats on to form, and it. It like wraps around and then cut this here and then had a piece of paper on the back of that so that it could make a pocket and to hold those tags and then this was just was taking some twine and string it around this piece and then hold it together with uh, the wax seal and then put it down so that's, that's the back, this is the front, and then that's all the innards. So I hope you like it. It's fun doing this. I'm having a good time I'm trying to work on some other projects. I've been doing some classes with Mrs. Cobb. And um, so uh, I hope this gets all together by itself because I've really gone over time here. And we'll see. So...
for now. I will talk to you all later. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you liked the video, which I hope you did. Even with my whining. <laughs> and chit chat. Um, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment so I know you've been here. And I will talk to you all next time. Take care. Bye-bye.